Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Python Plays Terraria. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm doing really, really well guys. Thank you so much once again for all of the support you guys showed in the last episode. I truly, truly do appreciate it my friends. It absolutely means the world to me. If we can keep it up with the insane support on the series, then that would be fantastic. Now today my friends, the name of the game is Exploration. That is right. We're on the fourth episode, we still haven't even explored the right hand side of the world yet so we need to do that in today's episode but first we have the traveling merchant who is selling uh, two things of worth well actually three things really we have ourselves the gypsy robe dps meter and crimson cloak but also look at this the hunter cloak the only thing this thing is uh, 15 gold so we can't really afford it however i will put a cloak on i will also get a dps meter and oh i don't know man I might be able to... I need, what, 70 silver, I think? If I sell the Crimtain... Yeah, then we can get this thing. Gypsy robe! All right, how much of this can I buy back? Uh, 21. Okay. Well, that'll do the job. 21. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the gypsy robe because, you know, two defense, 6% increased magic damage and crit chance reduces mana by 10%. Fantastic. So, uh, there's a few other things I might want to do in today's episode as well. Uh, one of them being try and get ourselves some pylon set up. Now, what I'd need to do first of all is make a forest biome house, right? To get the merchant and the guide there. And I'm pretty sure you need two NPCs in order for the pylons to work. So, when it comes to the underground here uh, we should be able to hopefully get a demolitionist to move in uh, down here and then he should sell the cave pylon i hope and then we have like direct travel between the the gem farm and the top area here right so yeah we're looking pretty good guys i think what i'm gonna go and do is actually deactivate my spawn point and then we'll oh no, didn't mean to do that spawn point removed do this spawn up world spawn Okay, coolio. And then we'll go ahead and make ourselves just a, a wee little basic house over here, I think. You know, maybe by the cave entrance. Go oh, on, you bunch of son of a guns. There's a whole bunch of slimos after me. And I tell you something, it ain't gonna work out for them. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty standard Pythonata house, except I went with a slightly different roof design because you know what? Why the heck not, right? So let's get ourselves a tiki torch. Maybe we like chuck that over here. Maybe we can have like a chest or something or some sort of uh, crafting station. I don't know, man. I don't know. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are. So let's have the guy down here and we'll have the merchant up here. And then when it becomes nighttime, they should just wind up, you know, spawning inside of the house. Okay, great. So we've got all of that up and going, ladies and gents, which is absolutely fantastic. Ooh, there is another worm I kind of want to get. There we go. Okay, so yeah, guys, we're looking really, really nice. Uh, Yeah, we need a demolitionist. Do wait, is there is there stuff down here to be able to have one? Table, chair, okay. Do we have tables and chairs in here? Chair and workbench, okay. So both of those should be valid down there. All right, well, I don't think it matters too much. Uh, yeah, this thing, it will never grow up here. So I'm going to go ahead and just go. Oh, there he is. Hey, all right. Are you going to move in down here? No, he's not. Darn it. Wait, can I do that housing thing from here? Uh, demolitionist. Oh, you can't do it from the minimap. Dang it. Well, uh, yeah. Oh, well. I forgot I've got double jump on this world. <laughs> uh, you see, in some respects, this Let's Play is further in progression than the Master Mode Let's Play. But in some respects, the Master Mode Let's Play is further in progression. You know, Master Mode. We've got ourselves an enchanted sword. On here, we don't. However, on here, we have double jump. On Master Mode, we don't. So, you know, I think it's worthwhile watching both series to see, you know, what kind of progress we make in each episode, right? Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and continue exploring, right? Okay, so we're coming across now the unexplored areas of our world. And I guess we've got to go ahead and just see what we can find. Uh, wooden boomerang. Okay, well, I mean, we've already got an enchanted boomerang, which I think we made in the last episode. So I don't think there was really too much to go on about there. All right, so we've got a blowpipe in that one. Okay, I mean, better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, oh, dude, I love the colorful vines. Is it only like certain biomes those things grow in or will they grow in any like forested biome? I've got to be honest, I genuinely have no idea. So I guess we'll find that out later. All right, well, maybe we just keep having a look down here. There's another chest. This one has a spear inside of it. Okay. I mean, is a spear a material? No, it's not. Okay, so let's be honest. 
it's probably going to be useless to us right now. Ah, here we go, my friends. Check it out. Whole bunch of large trees. Wait. Yeah, we've already found a whole bunch of large trees. Huh. Okay, is it like a like a sort of sub-biome that could just generate anywhere? I mean, I can only assume so, right? All right, well, let's just uh, head down here. Maybe there's like a nice horizontal section with a room. It's possible, I suppose. But uh, in this particular case, there is not. Okay, was there a chest up top? No. Huh. That's a bit disappointing. What the hell? A gnome? Okay. A gnome just tried to kill me. What the heck is up with that? I, I don't understand. Is he trying to gnome me? Have I been gnomed? I'm gonna take a gnome. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I can't, I can't do impressions of that. Uh, it's just terrible. All right, what have we got down here? Huh? Anything? Anything for anything? Seems to be a pretty large freaking cave entrance. This. Oh, mama. Plenty of stuff going on, huh? All right, what's this? Another radar. Is that like a? Is that an enchanted sword entrance? I can't quite tell. Nowadays, I just can't tell. It could be. It's like a whole bunch of, like, one block tiny pocket cave crummy things. Uh, I don't know. All right, so we got ourselves an aglet here, ladies and gentlemen. That's actually really, really good because it means we have one of the ingredients needed for the lightning boots, right? So that's pretty cool. Got a herb bag with, oh, some fire blossom seeds. Don't mind if I do. And I'll tell you what, we'll replace the boomerang with the iron skin potions because, let's be honest, the iron skin potions are probably going to be more useful to our cause. All right, well, to be honest, there's not really too much going on down here, so I guess back to the surface we go. Well, guys, to be honest with you, there's not really been too much to report so far. Oh, wait, no, hang on. We do have ourselves a, a large tree here with a chest and a wand of sparking, which has more crit chance. Okay, uh, it isn't a material, so I don't really feel too bad about going ahead and just discarding the second one. Uh, if I manage to get, like, a mythical one, then you bet your sweet butt I'm going to keep it. All right, well, let's just uh, pop in here real quick. I'm pretty sure we've already got the living wood loom and all that kind of stuff. Uh, angel statue is obviously pretty nice. Uh, well, I was, uh, well, I say it's pretty nice, but actually it's pretty useless. Uh, but yeah, we'll still go and grab it just for just for the sake of it. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Do we have rope? Oh, we've got 999. I don't think we need to worry too much about that, my friendos. Uh, but yeah, we're going to keep that stuff there. Maybe we'll want to uh, make it a base out of it eventually. We might do, we might not. I mean, like I say, this is supposed to be the, in air quotes, endless let's play. You never know. We might just wind up making like 17,000 bases in this world. You just don't know. Ooh, hello. Hey, a can of worms. I do like a can of worms, ladies and gents. Boom. Seven worms. Okay, and then we've got another aglet. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, mama, there's three chests on my screen right now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Four. Okay, there's a fourth chest. Oh, my God. There's so many chests. Absolutely fantastic. All right, we've got yet another aglet, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, right. Oh, gosh. I'm starting to run out of things to chuck away now. Lucky aglet. I might get rid of one of the normal ones. Gimme. Gimme. Thank you very much. All right. Chest number two. Uh, all right. Well, not really too much to talk about. I will take the lead bars, however. The dirt walls can go away. Uh, uh oh, God. I've just got way too much crud on me. Ah, uh, it's such a shame I don't have a freaking money drop on this world. All right. Uh, ropes. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. What's this? Blowpipe? What's the one I've already got? Forceful. All right. So that one's pretty crummy in comparison. And the final chest, ladies and gentlemen, is another spear. Yay. So much stuff. All right. Well, here we go. What have we got in this one, huh? Basically nothing. I'll take the swiftest potion. Why not? There we go. All right. Let's pop down here. Maybe there's something else to talk about. Oh, yes, there is. Baby, would you look at that? Yet another. Holy crap. A finch staff. Ah, it's got negative damage though. Six summon damage uses nine mana. Summons a baby finch to fight for you. Oh my god, that's epic! That is epic. That is actually freaking epic. We've got our first ever summoner weapon, ladies and gentlemen. I knew that they added some early game summon weapons, but uh, there we go. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, you love to see it, ladies and gents. You absolutely love to see it. Huh. 
I mean, it doesn't go down to any houses, but there is still a chest down here, guys. Not bad, not bad. I will just get rid of everything, because quite frankly, I don't need any of it. All right, and yeah, there's nothing down here. Coolio. All right, guys. Well, now that we've got a baby bird fighting for us, I think we have basically won Terraria. I think we've won the game. That's it. End of series. Goodbye. Yeah! If there's one thing I love, guys, it's opening up cans of worms. And that doesn't sound weird at all, does it? Alright, what have we got? Fleeting radar? I mean, I mean, it is better than the one I've got, even though there's not really any point to me getting one that has a prefix on it, because I'm never, ever going to put it in an actual accessory slot. Like, who does that? Uh, hello there, buddy. Wow, you, you, got a, you got a nice little sprite upgrade, huh, little goblin? That's pretty cool. Oh, here we are, guys. What do you think? What do you think, huh? Okay. I think this is about as far as I dare push it. Huh. All right. Well, yeah, we're not getting ourselves a water bolt here today, ladies and gentlemen. That's a bit of a sad state of affairs, isn't it? Oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess we're at the dungeon, which means we are getting pretty close to the right-hand side ocean, which I guess is pretty cool. Uh, so we might as well keep ourselves going real quick. So these little, uh, like, pink logs, are they, like, saplings for the different, like, alternate types of trees? Like, will they grow up to be proper trees after a while, or is it just, like, a decorative thing that's on the floor? Ah, I don't know the answer to that. There are so many things I don't know the answer to in 1.4, man. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, what's over here? Nothing. Okay, brilliant. All right, well, let's keep ourselves going. We're getting close to the end of the world now, my friend. So, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping we'll find ourselves something decent. What is that? Is that... I mean, oh. Well, there's me thinking it was an enchanted sword shrine chasm. I feel like I'm like a magnet for those things. Like, I could usually find them pretty dang easily, right? But, so far, no bueno. Alright, well, here we are, guys. We're at the beach. We done made it, ladies and gentlemen. Right, is this the one that has the biome on it? I hope so. Yeah, this one, this one was just a regular ocean. I, I think this one might have a chasm. At least I hope it will. That would be pretty freaking epic, if you ask me. Come on, baby. Alright, water chest. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll just come back for that stuff later, right? What are we going to get? Is there a cave down here? No? Aww. Isn't that sad? Uh, hello. Yeah, I wanted to... Ooh. Alright. Well, I think we're done, guys. Wasn't really much to talk about there, but uh, there we go, my friends. That is that. I mean, we've got ourselves a new summon weapon out of that. I guess that's pretty awesome. And ladies and gentlemen, how much money do we have? Two? Two gold coins? Dang. That's not really enough to get anything, is it? And I'm pretty sure a forest pillar costs something like eight gold coins. So we're going to need to try and scrape that up somehow. And then in addition to that, we also need to try and scrape up enough to get a second pillar uh, down on the ground, huh? Ah, check this out, guys. So we've got uh, medium improvements to all stats. So we've got the sashimi from the flounder and then from the rock lobster, lobster tail. Ooh, all right, we are going to be buffed up for days, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, yeah, we've got the shucked oysters here, but they only provide minor improvements. I mean, let's be honest, medium improvements is going to be the way to go, huh? So, yeah, let's get you taken off, and these two can be put on. So, if I buff up... Oh, he uses that one instead. That's interesting. I always thought it would have uh, taken the first one in the inventory, but maybe it does it by duration? All right, well, I mean, I guess that's still pretty cool, right? So I need to try and scrounge up some money, right? So what is the best way of making money in Terraria, huh? What is the best way of making money? Got to be honest, I don't really know. Maybe we try to get ourselves a bunch of gems and then we go from there? Question mark? Alrighty, guys, I basically just sold all of my ores and now... There we go, we got ourselves a forest pylon. So we can put it right here. And yeah, now we need to get ourselves a cave pylon, I guess. So yeah, we've got that going on, which is fantastic. And these guys seem to be pretty happy, which is absolutely beautiful. The only thing is now I don't really have anything of worth to sell. I mean, the finch staff, I mean, hell no, I'm not going to get rid of that. Are you crazy? I mean, we could go fishing for crates. That might not be the worst idea in the world, actually, because crates are a good way to get money, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you what, let's do that. All right, what's your quest now? Caught in the desert? I mean, hell yeah, dudes, let's get it. Let's do this thing. All right, so where's my, where's my fishing rod? Oh, there it is. Okay, coolio. Whoop! Come on, baby, I want me some fisheroonies. I mean, the high-end bait is definitely, hopefully, going to do the job, right? In terms of getting us quick fish. We've got flounder. What was it? A scarab that we needed, right? Was it a scarab? I think it was a scarab. I may be wrong. Uh, rock lobster. <laughs> It always reminds me of Family Guy, Rock Lobster. Rock Lobster! Rock Lobster! I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll just get back to fishing. Hey, scarab fish! There it is. All right, what do you got for me this time, buddy? Shark teeth trophy. Ooh, that's kind of epic. All right, can I put this up? Anywhere question mark? I could put it up right there, but it means we can only open this door outwards. Huh. All right, what do we got here? Lead bars. Fantastic. Right, somewhere around I had some crate potions. There we go. All right, if we're going to do this thing, my friends, we're going to do it properly, you know what I'm saying? So, let's do some crate fishing. Hopefully, we can get some epic stuff out of this. I really, really hope so. Whoa. I just got a white pearl. It's a material for something. We got it out of an oyster. Huh. Alright, we'll have to go and see what that makes in just a hot second here. But uh, as you can see, we're still going pretty strong. We've got our, our last bit of high-end bait. And then we've got some journeyman bait right here, which is beautiful. And, well, we're going to go until either we run out of bait or we run out of crate potions. Because, like I say, crates are a great way of uh, making money. And that's the way I want to do it, man. Holy crappers! Got ourselves our first ever Oasis crate, ladies and gents. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, that's not too bad at all, huh? Yeah, first brand new crate in Terraria. Not even gotten this on Master Mode yet, guys. So this is a, a first you're seeing today. Coolio. All right, well, we've still got plenty of stuff to go. Another oyster. Okay, I like it. I like it. It's like a little mystery box, isn't it? You might get an oyster. You might get something with the oyster. You just never know. Ah, nothing that time. Underground and caverns. Spider fish. Okay, we could always give that one a go. We've got like two bits of bait left. A whole bunch of crates going on. We even got ourselves a frog leg. Uh, for those of you guys interested. Which uh, increases jump speed and allows auto jump. Which is cool. Increases fall resistance. But doesn't completely negate fall damage. So, something to bear in mind, I guess. All right, well, we're heading on the ground. Get this fishing quest done, my friendos. And, well, hopefully get some cool stuff out of it. At least I hope so. That's probably not big enough to fish in. Uh, maybe we need to go down to the mushroom biome and do it there. All righty. Well, sadly, the crate potion has worn off. But we should hopefully be able to get at least something or other going on here. We are in the underground at the end of the day. I wonder if we could get, like, special mushroom biome fish. Could you do that before? I have a feeling you could, but there wasn't really much to catch. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's some brand new fish in the mushroom biome nowadays. I just have no idea. All right. Well, come on, baby. We've got one more bit of bait left. Come on. Give me a quest fish. I need that quest fish. It was a spider fish, wasn't it? Specular? Eh. Nah. Not useful. Not useful. Come on. Come on. Big whammy, big whammy, big whammy. Ah, oh, come on. I need some big money here, guys. Come on, spider fish, wasn't it? I think it was a spider fish. Hey! Spider fish obtained. All right, so here we go. Fishing potions. Nice. Oh, I've got five of them. Wow. Okay, well, the frog leg is definitely going to be kind of nice. So I'm going to put them in place of, I don't know, maybe the maybe the climbing claws. Boop. There we go. Beautiful. Let's open this thing up. Thunder zapper. What? What? Whoa! Oh man, that's quick! Alright, let's open all these up. Uh, tsunami in a bottle. Very, very nice. Very nice. Wow, we've got loads of stuff out of that. Holy crap. Nine gold coins! Guys, we have enough! Nice! So, yep, that's actually better than that one. Nice! Dudes! We just came out large there, man! Absolutely fan freaking tastic. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what this white pearl can create. Uh, what have we got? Lesser luck potion. Increases the luck of the user. Ooh. I wonder if that affects fishing. I guess that would make sense, right? And then... So, lesser luck potion. How do you make, like, a regular one, then? Huh. Because this isn't a material. Ladybug. 
Ooh. All right. Well, yeah, I'm kind of glad that we went ahead and did that. Uh, let's go and get down to the mushroom biome. Let's see how the demolitionist is doing. And uh, I'm hoping that we'll be able to get ourselves the cave pylon set up. And then we can teleport between places, which is going to be a super powerful tool for getting around our world without having to, like, spend many, many minutes just having to walk. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing. It's such a great addition to the game. It really, really is. Right, where is this? Oh, he's not even... Oh, he's, like, still up here. Son of a gun. All right, well, you want to do your own thing, huh? Wait. Oh, he's all the way over here? What? I'm so confused. All right. Do you sell it? Dang it. I think he needs to be in the underground biome, huh? All right. Well, maybe we sleep until it's nighttime. And I'll tell you what. While we're going ahead and doing that, guys, we can do the uh, we can do the comment of the day. The Go Gamers, or Goth Gamers, say, uh, just letting you know, gem trees grow faster in complete darkness. I didn't know that. I mean, as I've said many, many times, you know, there's a lot of things I don't know about 1.4. So I really do appreciate you guys going ahead and heading down to the comments and being like really nice and civil about it instead of being like, oh, Python, you suck. How can you not know this? So thank you so much for all of the hints and tips as I go along, guys. I do truly, truly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, uh, once we get back down to the uh, cave area, we'll go ahead and uh, remove the torches and hopefully get a whole bunch more gem trees. That would be amazing. And here we are. It's about to become nighttime. This guy should just wind up tele- yeah, He's gone. There we go. He's just wound up teleporting uh, down to the underground mushroom biome. So, uh, we need to skedaddle. We need to get over there. Come on. Cave pillar, baby. Cave pillar. Oh, what? No cave pillar. Oh, my God. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I should be able to actually capture this thing this time. Diamond squirrel. Yeah. All right. So, do these things sell and how much for? 11 silver? Wow, that's terrible. That's absolutely awful. There's an emerald squirrel. Okay. Mine as well. Oh, I captured a mouse as well. I didn't even mean to do that. Can I sell you a mouse? Oh, apparently you can. <laughs> That's so dumb. Look at this. They sell for the same price. I was kind of hoping that maybe the sell value would scale up with the uh, rarity of the resource, I guess. But... Eh. Oh, well. All right, guys. So, let's go and uh, rid all of the torches around here. Because apparently they grow better in complete darkness. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. There's a ruby bunny. Ooh. Man, these guys are awesome. Dude. All right. Well, yeah. These things are now in complete darkness, guys. So, hopefully, that means that they will actually grow. I guess in the meantime, I might be. Uh, it might be a good idea to chop these things down. Maybe we can get some more gem corns. And then keep the old farm going, you know? Huh. Okay. So, I literally had only just planted down that, uh, that little gem corn right there. And it grew almost instantaneously. So, I'm already going to go ahead and say that, yeah... They probably do grow faster when in complete darkness. So, yeah. And I also noticed that when I chopped them down, a uh, few of them didn't actually give any gem corns back. In fact, at all. So, they're not that much of a renewable thing. Like, you might get seriously unlucky and not get any gem corns from a set of trees. Which kind of sucks, but I guess it is what it is, huh? All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Plenty of stuff done today. You got ourselves a couple brand new weapons here, which is beautiful. Explored the world, done a whole bunch of awesome stuff. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to have to try and figure out how to get a cave pylon, if it even exists, that is. And yeah, I'll get back to you on that. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like rating as I punch my mic. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell as well, if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next episode.